guys so I'm making another video um, I decided that <clears throat> I was going to talk about something serious today so like normally you know I usually like fill you guys in about everything that I'm going through and just like update you guys on <clears throat> like my progress and everything but I don't know today like I was just kind of feeling like I need to talk about something that like I experienced with um like my brain tumor and like it's common like other people suffer from it too which is depression and it's like so weird like depression anxiety like panic attacks I never really understood any of that like I have a family member that goes through that but I could never I never understood it like before any of this happened I was just kind of like why like I'm like I never understood like why people get depressed like why you experience anxiety or you know like have panic attacks like I didn't understand that and like when I was in the hospital I know that like I was so anxious because I didn't want to be there I really wanted to go home and they had to actually like give me um sleeping medicine just because I was so anxious all the time and <clears throat> it's like crazy because dealing with some other things that I've gone through like personally like my anxiety got like really bad and like some days it was like uncontrollable like I didn't know what to do and like I remember one time I was having like the worst anxiety attack like I really thought I was having a heart attack I was actually scared to go to sleep I was had been up all night and I was ready to go to sleep but like my heart was just beating so fast I just was like no nah, I don't want to do it because like I didn't want to risk like having to go back to the hospital like I didn't want anything to happen to me so like I ended up like staying up or no I think I did take uh I took like some melatonin and um but I was like so anxious like it didn't even work but um I don't know like I've been hearing like hearing and seeing like a lot on social media how people go through depression and like depression is real like let me tell you like it's days it's been days where like I didn't want to eat I didn't want to get out the bed I was just like you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna soak and I'm gonna think about everything negative like and not to say that's like what all depression comes from like negativity but I'm just speaking for me like I know when I get depressed I start overthinking and overanalyzing being like extra negative like and I just go into this really dark place where I don't want to be around people I don't want to talk to anybody I'm like constantly thinking about my mistakes or whatever the situation is like I'm thinking everything bad <clears throat> and <clears throat> a lot of people that I know um that go through depression it's not the same like type of depression as mine but I know that they go through it and they they get in these dark places and like for people that don't experience it like I kind of just want to be like don't be like judgmental like I was because like before I went through it like I definitely didn't understand but then when I went through it I was just like this is real like I actually kind of like got offended because I felt like last week someone that um I was cool with at the time I feel like they thought I was trying to make fun of them from for suffering from depression like and I'm just like me out of all people like I can't judge you I can't make fun of you like I can't do any of that like and like nobody should judge anybody based off anything that they do like but me, I'm not about to judge you, like, because I know how bad it can be. And, like, it's just not a good feeling. And same thing with, like, anxiety and panic attacks. Like, I'm going to tell you, like, uh, like, about two weeks ago, I'm, like, literally was just, like, so upset about, like, everything that's going on in my life. Like, I've, like, literally, it's just been a lot of stuff going on. Like, I'm not going to get into detail about some of the stuff, but... I was really feeling down and like one day I don't even know where this came from I was driving I was on my way to my yoga class and 
I don't know. I just felt it like I just started getting lightheaded. I was just like, you know what? Something is not right. So like I had pulled over. I pulled over and I literally just like lost it. Like I was just freaking out. Like I didn't even know what to do. And I just like sat in the car just like thinking like, oh my gosh, like what? What am I going to do? Like I was literally like freaking out about my situation. And like anxiety man that's like it's nothing nothing to play about like i'm glad like i don't have to take medicine or anything for it but it's just something that it's hard it's really hard to like kind of like get a hold of especially like when you're having a panic attack like i was probably freaking out for like about a good three hours and, like, honestly, I can't even tell you, like, how it even started. Like, how, like, I just felt it happen. Like, I literally, like, as soon as I pulled over and parked this car, it was, like, over. Like, I don't even know, honestly. But it's hard because I have, like, friends that they suffer from anxiety, like, really bad. <clears throat> Sometimes they say they can't sleep at night. They stay up all night like and that that happens like it really does and i feel like a lot of people that don't know or they think like when you're depressed like it's just like them like begging for attention but it's not like people really are hurt and they're really going through something like it's not asking it's not begging for attention like when you're going through something like that like i don't know i feel like people should just be like more understanding and they should care about people's feelings more like it's crazy like i know like me too you know i just started eating and everything but i know um i can speak from a past um experience when i like really experienced depression but i was in denial at the time i didn't really think it was anything <clears throat> when I was about 19, my grandmother passed away. My grandmother raised me. She's raised me since I was a little girl and raised me until I was 19 years old. And my grandma, she ended up passing away. And, like, that was my best friend. Like, me and my grandma, we did everything together. Like, me and my grandma, we were, like, two bees in a pot. I was like, you want to go to McDonald's and get some ice cream? Like, or like we were we were just it like we did everything together like everything and when my grandma got sick it was just like so hard for me because i like didn't even know what to do like i was just kind of like my whole world is about to change <clears throat> i was still young um i kind of like didn't really like, I lived with some of my family before, but I kind of, like, just, I just didn't know, like, what I was about to do, and it just all happened so fast, but long story short, when she passed away, I um, went through a bad depression, because, like, when I was in high school, believe it or not, I used to weigh about 125, 130. I graduated high school. I was still working out. I was still doing stuff. And it was like the summer after I graduated, my grandma got sick. She was diagnosed with um, cancer and she had a couple other things. Um, when all that happened and like she started getting really sick, I stopped eating. I was just like, I just couldn't even do it like I stopped eating I stopped talking to people like literally <clears throat> I would not eat for days or like if I did eat it would be like once a day so uh, in all honesty like that's really how I got so little like even before I got sick I was little before like I weighed like maybe 110 um like right before I got sick I was 118 but before that before I actually started like wanting to try to gain weight i weighed about like 110 and but before that <clears throat> it's it was it was because i was like so depressed 
And, like, some people think that, like, when you're depressed, like, you can just get over that. And, like, sometimes even you can be happy. Um, Like, you can be happy and you can have happy moments. But deep down inside, like, you can still be depressed. Like, it was times where, like, I was good. I was really good. But if we want to be 100%, like, a 1,000, like, I did not cope. And I did not even, like, come out of denial about my grandma dying for probably, like, a good six or seven years, like. Because I, like, basically in my mind was just on some, like, oh, you know, she just, when she was, like, on vacation, she'll come back. Like, it was so many times, like, I would literally just wait by the phone, like, waiting for her to call. Or, like, waiting for her to scream at me for doing something bad. But, like, it took me a long time. And this happened when I was 19. So, I was, like, deep in my 20s. Like, probably, like, around 24 or 25 before I was, like, you know what? It's not happening. Like, it's it's done. But, like, I was really depressed for a long, long time when she passed away. Because... Like, like I said, that was my best friend. Like, my, my grandma was, like, my Like, she was, like, my mom, pretty much. Like, we, like, it's just crazy. And, like, two, even when I got sick, <clears throat> that was, a, like, another one of my things, like, dealing with depression. Like, just because of the simple fact that she wasn't there, like, her and my grandpa, like that they weren't there when I got sick and I feel like when I got sick I was supposed to be sharing that moment with them like I feel like having them in my life like it would have helped me like be stronger like if they were there like I get like spiritually like spiritually they're there but I wanted them to be there like physically like I don't know. I was just, like, really upset. Like, I remember being in the hospital and just knowing that they couldn't be there. Like, it really killed me. But it's, like, it's nothing like having, like, people that you know, like, that don't judge you. And, like, they're going to be there for you. Like, my grandma, she... She wasn't, like, I don't know. She wasn't as, like, laid back as my grandpa. Like, she meant kind of like what she said and what she believed in. She went by with my grandpa. He never judged you. He was always there to talk to you. Like, he was, like, everything. Like, and you can ask any of my brothers. and Brothers, you can ask my cousin. Like, everybody, they'll tell you the same thing. Like, he was, like, our rock. Like. We could literally call him for anything, like, and he would answer. We could tell him about, oh, man, granddaddy, I skipped school today and this, that. Like, we could tell him and, like, without, like, feeling judged or, like, without, like, thinking that he's going to go tell our parents or whatever. But, like, my main thing of make my whole reason for making this video is just really to talk about, like depression and like if you know somebody like don't judge them don't get upset with them like if there's days they don't want to get out the house like or they don't want to talk just try to be understanding because like you never know what the next person is going through like you just don't know and like if you can if you're close to that person try to get them help like i know for me for the longest they told me in the hospital that one of like this is gonna be a side effect of me having this tumor and they told me that it was okay like if I need to talk to somebody like get a therapist or something but I never I was always like oh I'm not getting a therapist like I'm not about to talk to somebody I don't know but honestly I feel like if I would have started talking to a therapist earlier I feel like I would be so much better off right now. Like, I just feel like things would be so much better in my life. And not to say that they're not good, because they are. Like, God has been looking out for me, like, all, like, he really has. Like, I'm not complaining, 
or anything. I'm just saying, like, if I probably would have went to see a therapist, like, before last year, I feel like a lot of things in my life would definitely be different. But I just feel like somebody needs to hear this. Like, and don't feel bad. Like, if you suffer from depression, like, don't feel bad. Like, you can have your day. Like, you can have your moment. Whatever. Like, don't be ashamed to be like, you're depressed. Like, don't feel like you're going to be judged. Like, and if people don't understand where you're coming from or try to understand you will, don't worry about them. Like, just let them do what they do. Like, like, because there's plenty of people that they, they understand where you're coming from. And, like, just know, like, you're not the only one that deals with this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. Hopefully someone can really like relate to this and they can understand where I'm coming from and maybe this video can help um but you guys know I'll make another video you can like this video comment subscribe and every week see I'm doing better this week I made a video I didn't skip a whole bunch of weeks um like I did last time so um definitely I will keep you guys updated, and I'm going to try to keep making videos every week. But, yeah, hopefully this video actually, like, really helps somebody. Um, definitely, if y'all have any questions, just hit me up.